Hi, Sonica and Christian with loveworksforyou.com here. Hey, do you ever fight with people you love about a clean versus a messy house? Yeah, like maybe you like your house clean, but he doesn't care about that and leaves his stuff laying all around. Or you like to have a house that looks like someone actually lives there, but she's always putting your things away and being on your case about it. The cleaner <laughs> messy debate is just one example of where we may have different preferences or values in our relationships. There's usually lots of differences like that that show up in a relationship. Today we're going to use the clean or messy as our example because it's such a common topic of disagreement. We hear that a lot. Now, we know it can sound pretty funny when you tell stories of couples who get on each other's nerves about cleaning up or not, but for most people, it's not actually very much fun at all. Yeah, for example, we were just talking to a couple the other day. They've been living together about a year and they're getting more and more serious, talking about getting married. But there's one thing that's really getting on their nerves. She really likes a neat and clean environment. He doesn't really think about that. According to her, he's messy. According to him, she's always nagging him about cleaning up. As a matter of fact, it's gotten so contentious, they're wondering if they even want to get married. They're concerned this might keep getting in the way for them and bug them forever. <laughs> yeah. The reason stuff like clean versus messy gets to be such a huge issue is because they reflect what's important to us, what really matters to us. So here's something you can do to begin to work with this. Have a conversation with your partner. Be curious. What matters to them? Why do they do what they do? Why does clean matter so much to them? Or what's going on with them when they leave things out and don't put things away? And pretend you don't know the answer already because you probably don't. Remember, everything makes sense to the person who's doing it. So when your partner is trying to keep everything clean and neat, they have a good reason for it, whether you see that or not, and vice versa, of course. So ask them. We recommend you do this when you're in a really good space, not when you're already annoyed about it. So when you're in a good place, like maybe over Sunday breakfast, ask your partner, you know, I notice how much you like it neat around here. You're always putting things away and you seem like you seem to like the counters cleared off. I'm curious about what that gives you. What do you like about that? And then listen and learn. Or to your partner, whom you normally think of as the messy one, ask them, hey, I notice you leave your clothes laying on the couch or you leave the dishes for the next day. I'm curious about that. What has you moved that way? What do you like about that? What does that give you? You'll often be surprised and you'll get different options from what they say. I talked to one woman who was normally the messy one and she said, you know why I leave things out is because I'm not done with it yet. I always intend to come back to it so it doesn't make sense to put it away. <laughs> or one guy who said, I just can't relax till the kitchen is cleaned. I've always lived by work first, relax after. So once the kitchen is clean, now I can relax, even though I'm sometimes kind of obsessive about it. What is great about having a conversation like this is that understanding begins to replace judgment and annoyance and new solutions will appear. Like my daughter, for example, she left her pajamas and clothes <laughs> on the floor that she intended to wear again. They weren't dirty enough for the laundry, but not clean enough to go back in a drawer. She now has a basket to put these clothes in to take care of all everybody's concerns. I know, and Sonica would have never figured that out if she had just done sort of the automatic thing of saying, clean up your place. Why do you always leave things that are laying around? So now you go try that. Ask your partner or your roommate or whoever it might be. Remember to do it when you're in a good space. <laughs> yeah, that's important. So, hey, till next time, have fun with that and go love somebody.